it'll be good. Huh? Hello! How's it going, people of the world? What do we have today? Where's this from, Roxanne? Oh, I don't know. Uh, the, the, you know what? I think this is the <laughs> the Italian one. Bad pass! Pussy? Pussy? I'm not Italiano. We're terrible at this. It's a beautiful country. We'll just say that. Because that's what that is. I guess that's what that means. Oh, yeah, it is Italy. Italy! It's from Italy! I gotta remember to keep that so I can take All right, pictures. I won't throw it this time. So, Turin, uh, Venice, uh, Florence, yeah. Rome, Naples. Naples is in Italy? Or maybe it's Nepales? I don't know how to pronounce things. And Sicily. Becky's all about Sicily. Boat right there. Man, I don't want to go to Italy. There's whales in Italy, it says so, along with boats. <laughs> what do you want to start with? Oh, sh I did not. Sweet, salty. So this was supposed to come on Valentine's Day or before for the people that record, like we do. We but don't it do it professionally, but it didn't come on time. And there's not even any hearts in this fish. Dude, there's a lot of cookie things. I thought there would be like hearty, meaty things. Um, it looks like... This looks like little donuts. This is gonna be the only salty thing. Um... What's that? That's probably a chocolate bar or something, huh? It is. With hazelnuts. Alright, oh. I wanna start off with this weird <sighs> donut thing. I don't know, they look like little Cheerios. Cheerio! Taranali? Lemon le pepe? Tarlini? Oh. Tarlini. The tortellini? Oh no. Sorry to all the Italians watching this video. And the Sicilians! Oh, they do. They look like little donuts. For not being able to pronounce things. What? You know what else they look like? Little bubbles. Dude, they have no flavor. They just taste like a flavorless biscuit. It's like an after lemon. Yeah. I don't like it. Ugh. This is only from my perspective. He's like burnt. Don't eat these when you have cotton mouth. Like today's soda is ink cola. I can't right now. That was nasty. It's literally still like stuck in my mouth. And I just spit it everywhere. That's fine. Ew, the lemon oh, after taste yellow. is terrible. This isn't cola at all. It's golden. It's golden cola. Oh, I guess that makes sense. It's like a golden shower in a cup. <laughs> but with less bacteria. It tastes like bubblegum. I like your cup choice. Good grief. You want to know where I got that from? Oh yeah, what'd you get? Stole it from Paz. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. I couldn't help it, man. I drank out of it all the time. And then when I left, it had to be done. I'm sorry, but it's not now. I feel that way about light bulbs. I'm just kidding. You're just <laughs> like, you're like dead scared of me in the eye. Like, I can't keep the light going. No, it's not light bulbs. I did not steal a bunch of light bulbs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I did still today, light bulbs, but not today. <laughs> yeah, because my boss has a bunch of light bulbs uh, for the house, so if I ever need light bulbs, I just take them. And like, I was grabbing them, and RJ's like, "What are you doing? They're gonna think that I'm stealing supplies." I was like, "No, these are light bulbs that we don't even use here at the storage, so it's gas that I could use for the house, so I don't have to buy my own light bulbs. They're eco-friendly light bulbs. They are." So and for the record, I bought this cup from GameStop, so. But that one, that one deserved it. I like how Zoe's like, I want some of this Coffee mug kidnapping. All right, I think that we should just get the lemon ones out of the way because that one was terrible. Yeah, that was So my hopes flavor. for this one, my expectations are a little low. Bloody! Lemon cookies. Those look like a turtle, turtle food. Like, for turtles? Oh, no, I guess they don't. They look like tiny little butter cookies. 
Det er så pænt her. Vi tager så godt. Det er så big over 10. Det er det Italian stew. Cookies and tea. Like the British stew. Like where they have a tea time? Biscuits and tea. I literally have a tea time that I schedule and I bother my friend Joe sometimes and I'm like, dude, it's tea time. And he's like, hell yeah. Tell mm -hmm. me some fun. Sorry, Mom. I want tea time. I'm apologizing for cursing. I'm trying to get better at cursing so she doesn't. Hi, Bonnie. This wasn't bad. It tastes like. 7 out of 10, I'd eat it again. It's a bottle. Yeah, those little it's lemon cookies like are, cola. are good, but not these lemon Cheerios. Don't eat the lemon Cheerios, they're butt. Eat the lemon <laughs> cookies, they're delicious. Alright. I saw something chocolatey that I want to try. It looks like it's a chocolate marshmallow. And it's called uh, Moretta. I'm going to call it Moriarty. My favorite <laughs> villain. <laughs> Who's that? Moriarty? Yeah. He's this villain in uh, Sherlock. Oh. I love Sherlock. Or maybe I just like guys with like dark curly hair. I don't know. I like guys with dark curly hair too. John Snow, I'm looking right at you. He's looking back at us. I know. I know. He's still alive. He never dies. Um, it looks delicious. Dude. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna order these. They taste like, um, I don't want to say like zigzags or maybe those Swiss rolls. Like those little like Debbie treats for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm -hmm. Good. I'm taking another bite of this one too. Eat it all, man. I don't give a shit. I saw it as best as I could without using my comb knife because, like, I just open packages with that. You don't want to use a comb knife. <laughs> comb knife. Have you ever used the comb part mm -hmm. to cut stuff? No. <laughs> <laughs> what is Ariel's little fork thing called? A dingle hopper? Yeah. We should get a dingle hopper with a knife hiding up there. And then you can brush your hair and eat your steak at the <laughs> same time. Ew, and also interesting. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear it. I hope Ew, so. For sure. But this is the moment where like Aladdin like saved Jasmine or found her on the street or whatever and she's like looking all hot before she before she uh goes into the thing. Oh no wait, it's still the beginning of the movie, which means he's back at his little mm -hmm. house area splitting that piece of bread with Abu and those kids show up and then they get knocked down with a what am I talking about? This isn't an Italian movie. I still don't want to see the other one. Um I said, no, it's not an Italian movie. Oh, this is an Italian like, box. In the spirit of we don't want to watch the new remake of Aladdin, we'll listen to it. You know what? Nobody else can be the genie. I don't know what you motherfuckers who make these movies think you're doing. I love you, Will Smith, but like, uh, Robin Williams, man. I saw somebody say on a post, on a Reddit post, saying like, I hope Will Smith goes back to rapping for all of his movies, like when he was younger. Like, here comes Men in Black. Or Wild Wild West. Like, he's just. If he did one for the kid, he would be super terrible, right? Behind the blue man. <laughs> <laughs> oh I mean, now. I really do love Will Smith, but that's funny. I like You his, know you uh, laughed. Y'all know you laughed. We're gonna move on to. Oh, I missed. And we're seeing. I don't know. And we're ready. I'm, a, I'm already. If you guys know how to pronounce these words, or maybe it has a pronunciation instead of uh, the boat it, let us know in the comments. But they're crisp almond cookies. Get into them. Can I give the knife back to you? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's in there. It's in the cone. Crisps, but kind of like a nipple, look at, and without 
chocolate chips inside, but that's hilarious. There's oh a whole God, little story really around hard. these cookies. They're hard, but they're tasty. Like, they just need to be dipped. They're cookie crisp in Italy. But they do have that almondy flavor, like they should. I would literally pour these into a bowl. Dude, with some milk, let them soften up a little bit. The story of this classic treat starts in 1719, when a young couple living in Serrano, one day, the pair um, heard the cardinal from Milan was visiting their church, and they wanted to prepare a social treat for the occasion. These are church cookies. Um, the problem church was cookies, sorry, that they didn't have many ingredients on hand in such sort of notice, and they whisked together everything they could find, apricot, kernels, sugar, eggs, whites, blah, 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 bake the cookies, then wrap them in, in gift paper. When the cardinal tasted their creation, he was so delighted that he gave the couple a blessing for a long, <clears> happy <throat> union, and then they murdered each other. I'm just kidding. Not only did the couple remain <laughs> happily married, but they started like, yeah, a cookie like cookie story. <laughs> with the cookie recipe for the cardinal, which they called Amoretti. They, we hope you enjoy this love story, and if not, we hope you enjoy these nutty cookies. There was no love story in it. They were just a couple that happened to be together, and then the cardinal was like, Good job, guys. And then Let's like, make some oh, cookies yeah, we'll that are shaped like your nipples. But, dude, though, that cake. Oh, it tastes good, though. Like, crush Which some of those festival? up. Make a this little crust This was supposed to come in Valentine's Day. How can you tell? It talks about a love festival that happens in, uh... Verona. Verona and Love Festival. The birthplace of Romeo and Juliet. Oh! <gasps> I didn't know they were born in Rome. Did they die there too? Probably. I mean, it's Romeo and Juliet. They die. Oh, oh that's fair. Oh, yeah, there's this chick. <laughs> At least they found love. <laughs> <laughs> I like the little stories that they have in this. Oh, wait, do they have a recipe? Uh oh. <clears throat> Carbonara a limon. <coughs> a limone. Carbonara a limone. Alimony. Looking for the perfect Valentine's Day dinner? Look no further! With a delicate balance of salty richness and citrus zest, this Italian pasta dish is guaranteed to impress that special someone or the entire family. I think what I'm gonna and do if is not, make my mom make these dishes. They kill you. So we can try them on the show. Dude, we should do it. I mean, we accidentally threw away the first boxes thing, but. Is there a way that we could be like, yo, send us a new one? I'm free. sure you could look it up. Yum box recipes. Oh yeah, that's probably makes more sense, huh? But I'll make mom make these things. She owes me some food, mom. If you're watching, you owe me food. Okay, so you don't owe me anything, but I'll eat that food, and I'll be like, but honey, this food is so delicious. Oh, remember she was like, you can bring your girlfriends to dinner and for steaks if you want. I was like, wait, I have a girl. Steaks. Yeah, I remember. I was oh yeah! Oh yeah, I was so sick. So we're eating. Sorry, I gotta I fix my face. It. They're all like. But we're eating these potato chips. <sighs> I like that he has a little hat with the A on it. Um, it's cute. They're good. They're they're like peppered they're potato truffle. chips. Ooh. And it says that they're gluten free, so mom, you'd be able to eat these. So oh, that's fucking good. All right, so seriously, chips are like my favorite food. We haven't Next had bad sandwiches. chips here yet. Those barbecue chips that we got in the old box. These are my munchies. favorite so far. They're so good. Yeah. Mom comes home either tonight or tomorrow, so I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure that I favorite like two or three. He's got a little chef hat. <laughs> a little chuckle has a little chef hat. How silly. <laughs> I love it. I like it. 10 out of 10, I'd eat a bunch of them and then get really fat. We're yum bag. With the yum bag. What little treats. All right, I'm going to make a guess right now. The next box is from Hungry. Do you want orange or lemon? Oh, what? They only gave us two flavors? Those bastards. I'll take the lemon. And these are the same. I don't know what that is though. A Toblerone? Oh no, Aladdin's in the, the, the chamber now, like in the dungeon. 
Oh, it's a heart candy. Candy. Is it one of those ones that's like soft inside though? I don't know. It looks like a cough drop. Because ours is the same color. And it's different flavors. It tastes like a cough drop. Oh, wait. It's super sour. It has fizzy in the middle. It's fizzy in the middle? Mm hmm. Mmm. It's so fizzy. Come on. Wow. Were you awake there? No, because I'm afraid. I don't want to break my teeth. Ugh. Oh, there's a little hole where the fizzy stuff is coming out. Yeah, that's probably not a good thing to say. But <laughs> we'll suck it oh, out of so here. so sour. Mm. I don't like it. Only because it's hard and I'm scared to break my tubes. But it tastes good, the flavor's good. There were these things on Valentine's Day. I went to coffee time and bought myself coffee. And they were like, do you want a Valentine's Day candy? And I was like, yes, bitch. So they gave me this little, like, they opened this box and they're like little round, like white, red, and pink things. And I thought they were just gonna be sweet. And they were soft. And then we bite into them, and they were like all sour on the inside. And it was amazing. And I don't know what they're called, but I know what they look like. I'm gonna see if those candies are in here. That's what I want. I mean, they would be, right? Because it's part of the bag. <laughs> oh, they are fizzy candies. <gasps> and then this one is a hazelnut chocolate. Mm. Hazelnut Bam. chocolate is my fave. I like some candy bars with hazelnut, so I'm sure I'm gonna like this. Hands down, Italians know how to make some good chocolate. This Italian box may be the best box out of all the boxes we've had. It is. Like that first one where it was just a bag of mixed nuts and I was like, what the hell? <laughs> Universal yums, like you should, I thought it was like universally no. be put together better, but I have to say, it was the best box you've ever done and you should keep it up. Learn from this box. Whoever decided to put this box together, you did great. Hell yeah, you did. It was the first box, but you did great with the German box. Or, okay, with the German, I don't know, maybe. The German box was really good, too. Not like, ones that are unified? But this one... It's better. Well, we're going to celebrate by eating some more chocolate. I mean, um... Ooh, and we should try this, too. Ah. I've had it before. Oh, that scent hasn't had it before. Fresca Sissy Soda. Another one of the sodas Andy gave me. Thank you, Andy. Well, this one was bubble gummy. So, I thought it was good. Yeah, I'm just not going to believe what it says on it anymore. Because this, this says cola. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of like a cream soda. And then this is Fresca. Lemon lime. It tastes like uh, salsa water. I love it. I like salsa water. I'm not into it. I'm gonna give it to Eddie. Eddie, if you're watching all of the sodas that are from Andy that say Fresco on it in my fridge, now yours. Except for that one. That do. one. I'm gonna take that one right now. She's not gonna eat it. Oh. Ooh, look at that. That's really nutty. What is it? Is it nutty or is it milk chocolate with hazelnuts? Delicious. They're crazy about nuts. Dang, that other nuts one was a chocolate one. coffee cake with custard. I didn't even taste the coffee in that fluffy chocolatey cake. It was really good though. Oh, maybe you should just like get a little piece. Oh, oh what? I mean, you gotta get like it's a, the bit. half of it, dude. It's really crumbly. You can't really oh, taste God. the hazelnut. It just tastes like chocolate. That's really rich chocolate, though. Holy shit. 
I wish it was in a smaller size. Like a fun size. I don't. I think it's perfect the way it is. Did we try all the things? We did. All right, I really like these potato chips. I like the weird nipple cookies. I like the weird, <laughs> um, like the weird cookies. lemon cookie thing, but that Those ones freaking donut thing was like the worst thing in the bag. And Look at this thing. thing sucks. Look at these things. They're like really bad Cheerio things or something. Cheerio. And they, they taste like burnt dough. No, sir, I don't like it. Dirty burnt dough buttons. <laughs> oh, yeah. I like this a lot. Though. Mm. I think they're escaping the, uh, they're trying to escape the, uh, the, the Cave of Wonders. Oh, yeah, when he's flying on the magic carpet. Mm -hmm. Although, the, that's another thing that I was pissed off about. Like, you guys have the technology to make the coolest sand lion head and it's just like a in the side of a sand thingy. What about your bullshit? He doesn't even talk? No. That's not it. from what I saw. And Jafar just looks like regular Jafar. Like he's not even Who's trying to shame anybody. Jafar? Somebody that doesn't know how to menace. <laughs> like I could probably scare a baby better than you, man. Babies are the easiest thing to scare. If you can't scare a baby, you're dead to me. Not that I go around scaring babies, but if I did, I could. You should. Yeah, I'm just saying, I, I could. And you could. Yeah. It's like a possibility, it's in my wheelhouse. I can scare babies better than the new Jafar. Well, good job, Italy. Yeah, you're the and best. And. Not good job, people making movies over and over and over and over and over again that don't Well, we're just trying to keep the copyright so that they don't lose the franchise and then bring it back into society for anybody else to try to make it, because that's how Disney do. Look it up. Well, you know what? Adam Burns Everything will tell you, Craft Articles will tell you, how Disney will take all of these fantasy stories from different countries and then make it their own, and then they keep the copyright for longer than they should by revamping the design. Mickey Mouse should be public domain by now, but because they always redraw Mickey and have a new adventure with that Mickey, we don't have public domain on Mickey. And we never will. I did not know any of this. Apparently I live in a chamber of secrets. Yeah, like they probably won't even Where the secrets are on the outside and I'm just on the inside withering away. <laughs> like... I think Black Cauldron oh, is on its God. way to public domain already, and they still, they're gonna, if they want to keep Black Cauldron, they need to remake it again, and it's one of those Disney movies that didn't do so great, because Sword in the Stone came around the same time, so like, they're probably gonna just be like, ah, no one I don't know if I ever saw that movie. The Black Cauldron? Yeah. Oh my God, it's so great. Well, my mom was also like, um... Uh... Hold on, <laughs> let me rephrase this. She just didn't really, she didn't really like movies with magic. Freaked her out. We'll say that. Superstitious? No, very religious. Very superstitious. No, she was just religious. It was good. I mean, she still. But, she's uh, like, like horror movies, no. There's one time I was like 17, maybe I was 18. And she noticed that I was borrowing Children of the Corn from somebody, and she made me take it out of the DVD player and put it inside of its case and stick it outside of our apartment door and lock the door behind it, leaving it outside in the cold. It needs a blanket. It um, needs a blanket. But like movies with not like The Sword in the Stone, I don't think I was able to watch that until I, like, unless I was like at my aunt's house. Like when Nightmare Before Christmas came out, I wasn't allowed to watch that. Um, My sister showed me that movie. I don't think she would ever want me to watch anything about witches, like the Black Cauldron. The Black Cauldron wasn't about witches. I know, but, but just with the, the name, name yeah. She once took all of my CDs away from me because she found the case of the Vandals. Hitler bad, Vandals good. 
And the first song is called The People That Are Going to Hell. She didn't like it very much. I got a drum. But I got it. I convinced her to give it back to me. So who won then? I don't know. I love my mom, but I was just a little shattered, I guess, when it came to those types of movies. So my biological father, the like first time that I spent the night by myself and it wasn't like we were living in California anymore, I went to his house and my half-siblings were all like watching movies and stuff like that. And it was before the babies were like able to really talk or anything like that. So like Candace and, and baby Lauren like were just running around like half naked half the time. They're baby babies. Um, and the movie we watched was Children of the Corn. And it gave me such nightmares. And then, like, after that, he showed us Puppet Master. And I was like, Mom, they're, like, psychos. Like, they yeah, watch Puppet all these scary movies. For a little? I don't know. Like, puppets know. coming to life and killing people. And then, like, yeah. Children of the Corn, like, the kids with the, like, mm -hmm. Wait, what movie really quick now? Rumpelstiltskin. There's a movie called Rumpelstiltskin. It's a horror movie? Yeah. We gotta watch movies. Apparently. We gotta show each other movies that... The other hasn't seen. I'll make a movie night. But damn, it's so scary though. And that's what he does. Lauren likes to scare his kids because, like, when that when I came back like years later, um, we were just chilling and hanging out, and the girls were like, "Dad, tell us a story." And he's like, "All right, I'll tell you one about this claw guy that used to kill people and blah blah blah." And they're like, "Yeah, the claw, like." I'm, I'm laying there next to Candace and Lauren, and I'm just like, you guys are like, I don't know, five, six, and you're hearing this scary, and I'm like, older than you, you, you and I'm the baby, like, I'm the baby? <laughs> and I was like, Mom, Mom, these guys are psychos, they like scary things, and scares. they're gonna murder me. <laughs> well, I'm glad they didn't murder you. I was so scared, though, that every time I called my mom <laughs> during those scary things, she would immediately like say, "Have fun with Lauren," and then like, "What are you doing, scaring my girl?" Blah 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 blah. She's so little, you know, whatever. And he's like, "I will." My kids watch it and they're fun. She's like, "Your kids are obviously psychos," but like, I was so like distraught from watching, psychos. from watching the movies and hearing the stories and all that stuff that like the next day he's like, "I'll make it up to you. What do you want to eat? I'll make you whatever you want." And I was like, "I want sopita," and he's like, "What the hell is sopita?" So he calls up my mom, "What's sopita?" And she's like, "Oh, it's just you know, that store bought." Freeze dried soup from, you know, yeah, I'm sure you've seen it. I'll put a picture of it. Um, but yeah, like this, this, those little soups that you get when you're like a college student, so like 10 cents a soup. And I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. Um, whatever, you know, they're, they're noodle soups and whatever. And he's like, I don't have that and I don't know where to get it. What else does she want? And I was like, eggs in a basket. So like he, my grandma then grabs the phone okay, and she's like, I'll tell you how to make an egg in a basket. You cut a hole in the bread. You butter the bread, you crack an egg in it in the frying yeah, pan, and then like you flip it over, like if you're trying to keep it like egg over easy, but like inside of bread, it's so good. Because then when you cut it, you have bread right there already. Texas to toast. Up. You know what? I'm gonna make it. Okay. Not today, but I don't know if it's actually called eggs in a basket or if it has like a more proper name, but like that's what's delicious. I love toast and I love eggs. Which one more together? Put them together. Like, I was telling my friend Joe about it one time, and he's like, we gotta do this. So he carved out a sun in the middle of the toast so that when the egg made it its way That's in, that it looked like a little sun shining out. Oh, uh, I want people to make me silly stuff like that. I'm too lazy to do that shit, dude. I'll just be like, Wah. all right, I put a hole in it, <laughs> plop an egg. Yeah, that's what I do. When I'm at home, I just put a hole in it. Put some pepper and some salt on that bitch, maybe a little bit of paprika. You know what I'm saying? I always put like a little bit of uh, thyme and some basil. And oh, then... how much time? I have so much time on my have? hands. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. That sounds good too, man. I keep drinking this thinking it tastes like it's going to taste different. It doesn't. It tastes like sparkling water. Oh, it says sparkling flavored I'm going to go back to my coffee. My coffee. All right, there you go.